he was getting closer and closer and in in maybe 20 feet away from us on it and suddenly out of nowhere this great big alligator home and that fish was gone fortunately he didn't hook the alligator we had problems so we decided that was the end of that the two little alligators left so anyway that's the point behind it so well we had taken Monty on a leash, and there are certain times of year you could go to the beach and walk your dog. So we'd walk Monty on the beach and we'd come back home, and in the backyard, a big oak tree, and Monty's on the leash, and Coley is with me, and Monty sees a squirrel. Well, the squirrel was, oh, let's say, 20 feet away from the tree, and I knew Monty liked to chase squirrels, and he never ever would catch them. So I said, oh, okay, he'd been for a walk, he'd been kind of pent up, let's just let him go. So I let him off the leash, and he took after that squirrel. And of course, the squirrel looked at him and just kept at it, Monty. Went up the tree, oh, just above where Monty could jump, and just kind of looked down, and if squirrels could laugh, he was kind of laughing. And then went up the street. And so I called Monty, come on back, Monty, come on. And Monty turned around, he started to come back. But then he saw a big white bird standing up on the bank of the American egret. And they're pretty tall birds anyway. He was standing up on the bank. And Monty looked at the bird. Well, of course, Monty liked to chase birds. So instead of paying attention to me, what did he do? He ran full tilt after the bird. Of course, the bird kind of looked. And the bird just took off really slow. Big birds, they don't fly fast. Really slow, kind of dropped down a little bit. He just started to fly just above the water line. And most dogs, as they came to the edge of the bank, they would have stopped and barked. But not Monty. Full tilt, running hard, and just took a huge leap off the bank. Almost got the bird. Into the water he went. Big, huge splash. Now again, most dogs probably would have turned around because the bird was leaving, but not Monty. He was headed after that bird. He was going to catch the bird. Well, bird obviously can fly faster, but this bird was flying really slow, just in the water. And Monty kept going. Of course, Colleen was calling, Monty, Monty. Monty didn't pay attention. Maybe he had his ears full of water. I don't know. He didn't pay attention. He just kept going after that bird. So after he's 100 feet out, he keeps on going. And then we saw something that we don't know if Monty saw or not. An alligator was coming over to investigate what was going on. Now alligators, you can tell about how big they are. Because there's a nose out of the water. And then back here's a couple eyes. And then back here the way there's a, you can kind of see where the tail's back. Okay, propelling them through the water. Well, when we looked, we were quite a ways from the alligator, but we could tell it wasn't a small alligator because the eyes were quite a ways from the nose. And the tail was quite a ways from the head. He looked to be at least six foot as tall as me. And that alligator was coming, and Monty was still going after the bird, and Colleen's calling went from Monty, Monty to Monty. Her voice really went high. But still, Monty kept on going. The alligator kept on coming, and we started saying prayers. Uh, because I'd uh, help head, people would walk their dogs, and the alligators would come out of ponds and grab them. So it was pretty scary. Monty kept swimming, the alligator kept swimming. And as far as we could tell, they came up and almost bumped noses. And then they kind of paused, and that was a long moment for us. They kind of paused. And Monty turned right angle and started swimming toward the golf course. And the alligator turned and started swimming after him. <laughs> Monty got to the golf course about 50 feet away. And he quartered head and the dog shook off. And then suddenly, apparently, he heard Colleen calling. Oh, you want me to come back? Well, <laughs> I was going around to the bridge to come over and get him on the other side. Well, what does Monty do? He jumps back in almost on top of the alligator and heads back toward us. Now he, he still has a long swim. He's swimming and the alligator is following him. But fortunately, he made it back safely and the alligator apparently wasn't hungry. And Jesus answered our prayers because we thought for sure the alligator was going to get him. Well, what can we learn about from dogs? Texas, they got
God remembered Noah and every living thing, and all the animals that were with him in the ark. So the dogs were in the ark. And the quote is, the average dog is, ni is a nicer person than the average person. <laughs> so things we can learn from a dog, like from Monty. When loved ones come home, always run to greet them. Eat with gusto and enthusiasm. So maybe after church we can eat with gusto and enthusiasm. Be loyal. Avoid biting when a simple growl will do. Play every day. If you if what you want lies buried, dig until you find it. Jump for joy when you're happy. When someone is having a bad day, be silent, sit close by, and nuzzle him or her gently. Delight in the simple joy of a long walk, drink lots of water, and no matter how often you're scolded, don't buy into the guilt thing and pout. Run back and make friends. And so maybe today, after we eat, your parents can take you to a park, Okay? And you can roll around in the grass. <laughs> Alright, so we say a prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you again for the animals you have given us and friends that we can learn from them. And please help us mind our mommies and dads. Amen. Amen. Amen.